Hello everyone. So now we are going to do the DSCP lab in the EVNG. Same thing what we done just now in the packet tracer. We are going to use same thing. Okay. So here some commands, whatever commands are not working there. Here it will work. But no issue. We can use any one if we have. Or let me create the new lab. DSCP lab. So what I can do, same thing I will do, I will take one router, I can take this router, let me take the uh, maybe three router or four router, two ro three router I taken because I am going to use the router as a client only, I will show you, see here we can say this is our DSCP server, okay, so here I will give the name as a DSCP server. This is the DSCP server we can say and this one here let me bring one switch also here we need to have one switch so this is a switch I can select the switch icon here I, this one and here I will write switch ok and we can say this is a switch connected to your DSCP server and this one I can say this is my computer we can use uh, Windows 7 or anything or whatever the computer but I don't want to use that if you want you can use but it will consume 8 GB RAM 4 GB RAM if you take so instead of that one we can make this router as a DSCP server and we can we can use this router as a client PC and just we can do the lab in the EVNG ok so I can say this is my PC one so I will connect this laptop here I will do this one also like uh, change the image here whatever I can take this one again laptop and here I can say PC2 ok here I have the interface so that is enough so we can say I have two laptops this two laptop is going to get the IP from the DSCP server let me power on the R devices and I will take this CLI here I will take here let me take all the console of all the devices in the real scenario you will have this PC but now for lab purpose I am taking the router and here this switch also I will take because uh, in switch we will not do any configuration okay but I take an or if you don't want to take close this no need for anything this is a server now we are going to configure here configuration is similar what we done here if you see this is only the configuration and you have same interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so we can configure we can put this same thing in this server that's all I put everything ex here okay and what I can do here I can capture also here f0 by 0 let me show you what I am doing I am capturing the log here what activity is happening just right click and then go here capture and f0 by 0 this interface I am capturing open in Wireshark it will open in the Wireshark just type here uh, remind me later and type here DSCP this one and search so whatever DSCP packets will be there it will show here and minimize this one and now this uh, router will have the duplex mismatch like that why we will get because in the EVNG routers are half duplex and the switch is full duplex that's why we are getting this notice now I make this also full duplex so you will not have that error and here this is the router actually so now we are making this one as a PC so what I can say here I will change the host name as a PC1 and interface F0 by 0 I will write here duplex full ok and here what I will do one more thing in this interface like we are using this router ok we are using this router as a PC so in this one if you want to get the IP you will write like you will go under interface you write no shut and then IP address DSCP 
you will write like this when you write ip address with dscp they are going to send the request to this machine to give me the ip if you see when you when i put here first i make this interface no shut so this interface is up and after that i wrote ip address dscp so if any router want to get the ip we will write ip address dscp as i done here this one we, we are going to write ip address dscp so this guy is going to send the dora process he discover offer request acknowledge so if you see here you will have the dora process <coughs> d o r a d o r a so our computer don't have any ip address okay this one this pc one don't have any ip address so his ip is 0.0.0, .0 and he don't know the server ip he don't know this guy is a server dscp server so he is sending to everyone he is saying 255.255.255.255 means it is a broadcast ip so he is going to send everywhere in the network what he is saying discover okay and then our server this is the server whose ip ip is 192.168.1.1 he is going to reply and this guy also don't know anything about what is the ip of this machine this machine is not having the ip that's why he is sending the message to this uh, server so this server received the broadcast request saying that one is there anyone who can give me the ip so our laptop our server is sending what he is sending he is sending the message in the broadcast and he is offering some ip if you want to open you can open here they are using the UDP protocol port number all stuff is showing here and in this packet what he is sending he is sending the broadcast message he is uh, he is not having any IP server is not having any IP he is sending only his MAC address he is sending the request discover request then this machine the server is sending server is offering this IP 192.168.1.3 if you see this is the server 192.168.1.1 this is IP for this server so this server is sending to you by doing the broadcast only and if you see here they are offering you this IP and after that you are you are uh, what we can say you are requesting I receive this IP I can use this you are saying to server because you don't know still server IP so you are doing the broadcast only okay you are doing the broadcast only so after that server is acknowledging he is saying that one acknowledge yes you can use that one so this is server ip server is saying yes you can use this ip this is acknowledge message here is the request message here is a offer message if you see here here is a discover message here you can see whatever messages they are sending this is the message which message discover message who is sending our client then server is giving the IP he is saying I am offering this then this guy is requesting saying that one okay I have this I received this IP I can use so the server is saying yes you can use that one after that this computer will get the IP which computer this one so you can check how we get or not show IP interface brief as we are using router so this one he get that same process here also in this computer also you will go you will do the basic configuration uh, is I will change the host name as a PC2 and you will go under the interface F0 by 0 you will write here duplex full and no shirt and IP address this is the command we are going to write in the router to get the IP from the DSCP after some time you will get the IP and here you have more packets okay if you see here this is the another IP they are offering 1.4 before they offer 1.3 now they are offering 1.4 so this machine is get 1.4 you can check do show IP interface brief this machine get this IP okay or any confusion if you want window machine take window machine no problem I have the RAM I can take but mini strand is not having that much RAM this is a server window server okay it is going to consume 8 GB RAM so I am taking this one 
it is not necessary you should use this one concept is important okay i cannot connect like this directly because this is a evng community edition in community edition you need to switch off the device if you want to connect anything so i switch off this device and then i power on the device after connecting and uh, what again i am repeating it is not necessary you should have this server 8 gb ram like that even you can do this lab with the router what i done just now you can use this router as a pc and do concept is important because many guys are saying i have only this gb ram i need that image i need that image so no need to worry even if you have low, low ram it will work you need to understand the concept or you can use the vpc or better use the router and configure as a pc but anyhow i will show you how the machine also getting the ip let's see i have one server it is going to consume 8 gb ram so this machine can also get the ip from the dscp so let's see here but i think here i did not remember the name username and password for this machine i am not sure what is the password admin or something admin user something we have user or something okay i have somewhere the list password list in that one i need to check or i can do one more thing i have one more machine window machine this is going to take 4 gb of ram again i need to switch off this one connect this one here and here switch is not having the port so i need to increase the port in the switch you can increase here put to okay so now switch will have the port sorry you need to power off only this one first connect this power on the switch power on the machine you can search also in the google what is the ip or login detail for this one in the evng images we are using administrator administrator or something i did not recall but anyhow let me take this machine also i think this machine is not having the uh, any credential to log in this device but anyhow let me write here uh, administrator only no administrator is not there anyhow we will see in this machine starting the xp this machine so this machine is also not having the login credential so directly it will login i think so here we can check yeah windows 7 this is a windows 7 but that lab our lab is finish only that point if you understand the concept that is enough only this one but anyhow let me go here i think your machine get ip already 192 168.1.1 we can verify here we can go to the lan network i can go here where is the network here network okay it is hanging open network connection go to change adapter setting we are using this one i think go here and check here yeah if you see obtain an ip address automatically obtain ip address automatically so this machine is going to get the automatic ip if you want to check what ip he get means you can go in the command prompt and you can open and you can write here ip config if you see this machine get 192.168.1 6 192 168 and the gateway is 192 168 okay and here if you see you have again the messages this one 1.6 
so this way it will work if you this so server i did not remember the login detail so now worries same thing what we are going to do with this server same thing we done with this pc which pc this pc we get the ip automatically he get the ip when you have the option selected that one when you select this option here automatic that is obtain ip automatically automatically they are going to get that one okay and if you see here you can see what ip he get also and the gateway so i hope it is clear just this is a basic thing uh, you should have the idea what is what are the packets and why we are using this one how to configure in our next class we are going to learn how to configure dscp relay agent and the dscp server we already learned now we are going to learn how we can configure relay agent what is relay agent why we need that one all the stuff we are going to discuss in our next class